Oh, I hate this. It's so fucking scary, dude. You feel so vulnerable. Yep, there's one. There's one. Did you hear it? It's there. Hello and welcome back to Subnautica with myself, Holo. Thank you very much for joining me today. The filtration machine has completed its first task, apparently. Uh, last time I actually did say, when I placed this, let me just say this. I said, I said when I placed this filtration machine, Oh, hey look, it's a filtration machine. What does that do? Does it filter water for me? And, I mean, I kind of said like an obvious sentence, right? Like, does the filtration machine filter, okay? But what I meant by that, what I thought people would sort of explain to me, but didn't, they just got sarcastic about it, you jerks. Um, is how does it work, you know? What, what does, what's it going to do exactly? I get that it's going to filter, obviously it says that in its name, I acknowledge that in the time that I said it, but... How does it work? Does it just spawn water and salt for me? Well, apparently, it spawns some salt just on its own. So, that's good. I mean, first aid and, uh, and uh, clean, clean water and whatnot, you know, the, making food last longer, that's good. Uh, I guess it's like a reliable way to get salt, but I was also hoping that it would spawn water as well. As you can see, it says 81% um, water, 61% salt. Maybe when it reaches 100%, It'll spawn one water, and if when it reaches 100% on salt, it'll spawn one salt. But I don't know yet, so we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Now, if you don't remember, last time I did say I would like to improve the base in the next episode, this episode. And basically, although I think it looks fine, I think it can look a lot cooler. I think it can be a lot more organized. I think it can be a lot more aesthetically pleasing, and also. The really irritating bug we're seeing with the water clipping through the top of the base. That's something I don't want to have to deal with anymore, obviously. So I think I'm going to try my best to deal with that. Now, I think the best way for me to go forward, if I'm going to completely like redesign the base, maybe get a terraformer, is to have a place to store all of my stuff. And I've got two options, really. The first option would be to build a second base, or like a hub, like one of these rooms, and just put it down here, and then put a fuck ton of lockers in there, and transfer all of it into the, into the lockers of this, like, potential, like, hub, right? And then transfer all of that stuff back into the new base. Or I could save myself the time and hit two birds with one stone. Let's make the first Cyclops of this season, of this series. And then we'll be able to put all of our stuff in there. And it can just stay in there. And then we can transfer what we need to into the new and improved and upgraded base. So that is the plan. So let's go find out what we're actually going to need to get to create our first Cyclops of this series. Um, let me find out what it actually needs. We climb on board here. And let's have a look. So Cyclops needs five plasteel ingots. Okay. It's going to need five enamel glass. I hate enamel glass. It's so annoying to get. We have two lubricants to get and an advanced wiring kit. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Now, it is kind of dark right now. So you guys can't really see. And I'm about to go gather a bunch of things. So I'll get the base resources to make a couple of those things. But show you the interesting parts. Fortunately, I have plenty of quartz stored up. I have silver. I have all pretty much everything I need. So I should just be able to make that right there. Yes. Awesome. I actually gathered a little bit of stuff you know, before I started recording. So there we have the advanced wiring kit. That is one of the many things we're going to need. Okay. One down. Actually, before I even need to really jump, uh, there are some creep vine seed clusters right here. We only need two lubricants, so this should be pretty simple. One and two. There we go. Awesome. So that's two of the four down. Next, we're going to need, I think it was five plasteel ingots, which is going to be a bit of a pain. To get plasteel ingots, you're going to need five lithium and five titanium ingots. The ingots are quite as bad. It's just ten titanium. How much titan titanium do we actually have in here? We have one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's 30. So we're going to need another 20 before we have enough of these ingots. And then we're going to need the much more difficult part, 
which is going to be the lithium. I think I only have like two lithium left. No, three lithium. We need two more lithium. So I just went and gathered roughly 20 titanium, turned them into two ingots. And now the power should be mostly restored in the base, as you can see at the top it is. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is grab all the titanium we're going to need out here. And make ourselves the last uh, two ingots. Shouldn't be too bad. That should be enough. I'm going to just wing it there and assume that's enough. More than uh, 20, I'd assume, at that point. Okay, there we go. So now we just need five plasteel ingots, which again requires uh, five lithium to go with these ingots. And the issue is I only have three. So we'll make what we can now to save up in the space. There we go. Make that ultra strong material. There we go. And now we just need two more lithium. That'll be our next objective. So I'm sure we can actually go out into the world and go get what we need. But while we're there, we can try and, you know, take two birds out with one stone. Like I've been trying to make a theme this episode, apparently. Um, and just see what else we can find while we're out there. I'm storing all of the important stuff in the same place, as you can see. All the stuff that we need here. Uh, and we'll put that away as well. I don't really need that. Um, okay, so let's go out into the wild with the seam off and see if we can't grab ourselves a couple lithium or rather as much as we can get our hands on and anything else that's relevant and out there. Now, I don't really know where to go to find lithium anymore. Um, I'm sure it's in a few different biomes now, but what I can tell you is I've not really been north or northwest. Looks like we found one of those uh, bloodgrass biomes. And this is kind of the area that I'm scared to go into because of the potential of Reaper Lathiathans. Apparently I mispronounced that word. Really not bothered right now though. Do we, do we go? Oh, I can see it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. it is that what I think it is on the right there? It is. I'm scared to go near it. There's a, there's a shipwreck there, dude. So this is where I think I can get lithium. Things just get real tense now because there's a big gap here where I reckon a reaper could spawn. Is it worth the risk? Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, I'm going. Lithium. Hey, you can get lithium in here, apparently. So quiet. Listen, listen. So quiet. We got two lithium. That's what we set out to get. Okay. Disinfected water. Okay. That's useful. That was scary as... Fuck. <sighs> Thought I heard something behind me. Okay. It's not necessarily safe in here. You know, there's, there's all the sharks and shit. Any creepy crawlies I might not know about yet, but I definitely feel safer in this biome than out in the open where reapers can get. Because, you know, when there's these trees, let's say a reaper comes after me. Oh, terraformer finished. Awesome. Let's say a reaper comes after me in here. You know, it's going to struggle to get past all of the... Uh, it's going to struggle to get past all of the trees and I can use them to, like, weave in and out of. If you, if you get my meaning. So just basically... Oh, I don't really want that, thanks. Um, so basically, I just want to use it as like a defense. Even if there was a Reaper here, at least stand a chance. But you guys actually know... Let me know a secret last time. Or an in, a bit interesting bit of information, rather. Um, the electric charge that I was using wasn't the full potential. Now, if you want to, you can target something and then left-click it. So I'll scan, right? We've been seeing that. Pretty cool. Very useful for finding caves and stuff. The thing is, if you hold it down longer, I don't think it works with a scan, no. But if you hold it down much longer with the electric burst, the burst is stronger, doing more damage and a bigger area of effect. Meaning, it can kill bigger animals, not just tase them like I was doing last time, but actually fucking kill them. And someone said that if a reaper's coming after you and you do a full blast to one of them, 
you'll actually scare the Reaper away. And that is something I most definitely am going to try. As horrifying as it sounds to even just, like, talk and think about. Like, going after a Reaper and fighting it. It also sounds fucking awesome. So I really want to do that. So, like I said, while I'm here, I'm grabbing everything Welcome I can. Board, Even though we've got the lithium we need, it's better to get as much as you can actually grab while you're out here. Because, you know, it means I don't have to come back here in this dangerous area for a while. And if I need to uh, ever reinforce the base with reinforced pads, you know, I I'll have the lithium fish. to do it. Oh! Just wreck that spade fish. The health of my uh, seamoth has rapidly decreased. I've hit a lot of fish down here, and... You know, at these higher pressure areas where we're deeper down, the damage is quite, you know, respectable, let's say. Look at this. Look at that big open area. That's me nervous. The sounds that you hear when you're in this, like, zone. I swear to God, man. I went quiet there because I saw the Aurora were right next to it. That is where Reapers spawn, dude. Like, r literally, like, right there, over that hill where I was just going, Reapers spawn there. Fucking hell, that would have been bad. Okay. Okay. We just went through that danger zone, the big open gap. All right. This isn't necessarily safe where I am right now, but it's definitely got no Reapers in it. So I'll see you back at base. Fun fact, while we're uh, on the way back, we're actually almost there. Um, the ship itself, the crash ship, is called the Aurora, right? Isn't Aurora the name, like the actual name of uh, the Disney princess, Sleeping Beauty? Isn't that clever? I think that is actually a reference to Sleeping Beauty. Like, the ship sleeps right now. Maybe that's like, tiny little indication that one day, you'll be able to restore it. An escape, like an end goal. That would be amazing. Okay, now that we have the lithium, we'll just grab that. And make ourselves two more plasteel ingots. Awesome. That's three of the four things we need. Now for the least dangerous but most annoying part of this whole process. Which is gonna be, unfortunately, fucking chasing those stalkers around. And trying to get them to uh, bite scrap metal and then getting their teeth, which is required for the glass that we need for it. And I, I hate it. I hate that shit. It's so annoying, man. Before we head out, I'm going to repair the seam off. Obviously, it needs to be on 100% health. You never know what's going to get you out there in the world. We're going to make sure that's nice and welded uh, back to 100%. There we go. No more smoking for you. And so we head out into the creepvine biome to find these stalkers. So, what you need to do is get a stalker to follow you. Maybe multiple. Probably a good idea. <laughs> the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, dude? I think I just killed some small creature, like, instantly, and it screamed as it happened. Maybe it was one of those leeches. That was horrifying, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, anyway. We need to find um, a stalker, and then we'll get it to follow us to an area where, you know, it's not covered in as much green and basically hard to see on the ground. And then we're going to drop scrap metal in front of it, and it'll try and bite it. And then hopefully, we'll find some teeth. And we're going to need five, minimum. Hey! Hey! Yeah, you! Come over here. Eat that. Yeah, that's it. Another one. Awesome. Going so well. This is usually a lot harder. Whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit! Keep it up, buddy! <laughs> in, a, in a matter of minutes, you're gonna have literally no teeth left. It's gonna be great. You're not gonna be able to eat anything. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. You're gonna hate it. Okay, there we go. Oh wow, we're doing so well. So the reason it's important to get as many as I can while I'm here is because the process is obviously irritating, right? It's, it feels not necessarily RNG, but there are, like, elements of luck to it, for sure. Um, and the enabled glass is actually really important for building a base that has um, 
observatories and glass sort of walkways and in this new base that I'd love to make I'd, I want to make it look fucking cool I want it to be fun to just be in let alone looking at it uh, so yeah I'm excited about that are you dead <laughs> it looked like it just died after it bit that are you out of teeth buddy you done now god they're so annoying to get and they're also so important because you know we all want cool looking bases and stuff but uh, I think that'll have to do. We've got one more here. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go make ourselves a goddamn Cyclops at last. To make enable glass, we're gonna need one glass and one stalker tooth. As of right now, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so we can make nine overall. We're also gonna need the glass to do that. Glass is two quarts, I believe. Let's make this uh, enable glass. Does it look any different, any cooler? I think it's just more purpley than the normal one. It's a natural substrate from manufacture of LNL glass discovered. With this material and supply, construction of advanced submersibles and habitat modules is possible. Yeah, so different like things you can build with your habitat and of course different submarines, such as the Cyclops. Although I don't really know that there's any other submarines in the game besides the Cyclops right now. Uh, while we're in the base, let's check if uh, any water spawned. Or is it just still salt? Oi! Oh, wow, that's such a nice sound, big filtered water plus 50 hydration, holy shit, oh, that's such a nice little animation, dude, and the sound it makes, so you want to keep, you want to take these out whenever you can, so that it keeps making more, basically, uh, that's so useful. Uh, that is insanely useful, man. That's awesome. All of these, these two, and this one. And that should be everything we need to make our first Cyclops of this season. Very excited. They're massive. They're extremely useful. They're going to be kind of... It's going to be bad without its upgrades, so we're going to have to work on that. But for now, there it is. Look how big it is, man. I can never get over that. You can really see inside it a lot better now when you're constructing it. I'm interested to see if there's anything changed about it. From what I just saw, I don't think there is, but maybe who knows. I mean, there's a lot changed with the seam off, so maybe they did something new with this. Alright, we got to give it its name. Oh my god, look at that. It's not in a good spot, is it? See how, like, big it is? It's like basically touching the floor. That's going to be nasty, nasty hole damage. We're going to have to sort of park it in the creep vine biome where it's in a nice big gap. But to do that, we're going to need to move forward. Um, here's hoping it's okay. Okay. So we have the lockers. As of right now, there's nothing in there. Can you build things inside of it? Doesn't look like it really. We'll find out soon. And then we have the lower level of the Seamoth dock. This will open up like a panel. Then we've got the engine in the back here. Let's climb up. Check it out. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Physics. Oh, that's crazy. And then we have the power cells. Six power cells. Three on this side. Three on the other side. I'll just show you. We have all of these doors to close and keep it compact and tight in case of uh, any hull damage and water sort of starts coming in. Then we have the above level of where the seam off would be docked. This is where we would get into the seam off. Can actually open that up. There's no seam off right now though, obviously. And in here we do have the room that I use for lockers and you know basic storage. It's a really nice spot for it. Maybe like uh, fabricators and stuff like that. Like an on the move base. All these different panels right here. And the ladder down to the entrance right here. So let's customize this bad boy. Okay, that should be everything. Hopefully that looks good. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Here we go. Oh, she's back, boys. Exactly how she used to be. Oh, my God. I'm glad that I remember the color scheme. I even got the purple going on there. You see that? Oh, that's lovely. A shame you can't customize the inside in terms of color. Because you can do that with a seam off now. I was, was kind of hoping. But that's quite all right. So we need to dock her a little bit further in. Let's try not to damage the hull too much. Now, it's wise to pilot, seeing space to go down and up. 
600 power, guys. That's consumed really quickly without the upgrades, so we want to be careful about that. Okay, there's the base. We want to try and dock it basically in front of us, right here. Check it out, I can go up. Look at this! Oh, you know what? I'm going to get like a nice shot of her right here. There it is. True blue. Hell yeah, man. Alright, so I want to get on top of the pod. See how it looks. Look at that. It's massive. It's the size of my base, dude. It's the size of my base. Fucking insanity. Now, you can charge your seam off in there. Like I said, you know, you can dock it in there. But it will take the power of your Cyclops. Which really needs to not happen. So, we're going to need as many upgrades as we can pretty much get our hands on um, from the beginning of it. Now, if I go back into the Cyclops and have a quick look at where the upgrade station is. Maybe there's something going on there. Maybe that has been updated at all. Just want to have a quick look. Here it is. Access upgrades. So, um, no, you can't make them here. There's no fabricator sort of made here, like in, with the seam off thing. Um... So what we're going to need to do is go back to our fabricator, I think, and see what we can do with that. We're going to need that upgrade in the Aurora. Oh, boy. We need the upgrade in the Aurora before we can really use the Cyclops. It is most definitely not going to be a placeholder, True Blue. I refuse to just leave it there. So, we need to get that upgrade as a sort of priority. I am horrified to do this. Because it's dangerous as fuck. But we've got a radiation suit. You know, it's... It's something we've been wearing for a long time now. And I would say it's most definitely past time... For us to go out... And go fix the Aurora... Um, reactor. So that it's not emitting radiation into the land anymore. It'll open up new areas for us to explore that we don't have to wear our radiation suit. Which allows us to have a, uh, what is it, the filtered mask? The filtered mask means I can go to lower uh, depths without it consuming tons of oxygen. Kind of important. Get ready, guys. We're about to deal with some reapers. I'm fucking horrified. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, I hate this. It's so fucking scary, dude. You feel so vulnerable. So fucking vulnerable. Right here. Yep, there's one. There's one. Did you hear it? It's there. Where is it? Oh, man. Where is it? It's fucking night time, man. Why did I do this now? Uh, okay, so there's one fucking out there right now. It's close. There. Right here. If you don't know about this. This right here. Is a secret entrance. To the ship. Oh god. We're going in. Ah, oh, look at this. Filled with leeches. so dark in here. There's magma falling off the ceiling. Fucking stings if it hits you. Fire, watch out for that. Okay. Now I know, I know the reactor's there. But I want to go show those who might not have not seen the original series. The main sort of chunk, the main bit of the ship that's missing. You know, I wonder if anything's changed in here. All on fire there. It's been a long time since I've been here. 
Okay. Should have brought a torch. Now oh, there's crabs walking around here. Yep, there's one. Gotta be careful of those. They will attack you. Fucking hell. Okay, watch out for the falling magma. Okay, this is the main bit. Oh! Of the ship. See how it's all missing? It's like the front. This is where the like giant cockpit would be in front of me. There is more to this. I'll show it another time when it's not so fucking dark. Watch out for the magma. Power efficiency upgrade module right there. That's what we came for. But we're here to fix the radiation, meaning all of these leaks need to be fixed. Hopefully I have enough energy in my welder to pull this off now. We have 11 containment breaches. So that's nine left after this one. If we go around here, let's hop in. Again, this whole place is like infested with leeches. I don't know what draws them here, but they ain't nice. You don't want them fucking touching you, let me tell you. Why did I come here at night? What made me think that was a good idea? Okay, seven left. Once we deal with this, over the next little while, maybe like two days in game, the radiation will be removed and filtered out. And then we won't have to wear the radiation suit anymore and we can start using different bits of suit, more useful ones. It's nice, look, check this out. As day rolls around or something, at the very least, we can actually see something now in here. It was fucking dark when we first came in. Now we can sort of see. Then again, maybe the reason it's being so cleared up in here is as I get rid of these breaches, maybe vision is restored and whatnot. It's not as, like, smoky in here. Two left. Oh. Drive car breach sealed, radiation dissipation in three days. Trying to download a temp with Aurora Black Box. Radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days, ten hours. There you go. Look how cleaner that is. Restored. Yeah, look, it's daytime. Awesome. Check it out. This is where I was walking around, but it was so hard to see. There's a crab right there. Watch out for them. Fuck ton of them over here. I think I could scan them. I bet you can. Come here, motherfucker. Cave crawler is that? That's what it's called. Really hard to scan. Nearly got it. Nearly got it. Ow! Come back. We got it. Okay, so we now got that. We'll learn about that soon. We've uh, scanned it. Get away from me, the little bastards. Whoa. Okay. So we got a lot of these chests around here, by the way. Power cell, very valuable. Check this out, dude. Look at this. God damn. Look at that. That's a screenshot right there. F11. So is that. F11. And that as well. <laughs> so many screenshots. Ooh. Okay, let's um move along here. Open up some of these chests while we're out here. They have power cells in them. Very valuable. Trace human remains detected nearby organic digester systems. Further exploration not advised. Little warning that these crabs will eat human flesh. They got a taste for it. They came here and ate all the bodies, or a lot of them anyway. Still magma dropping it down and around me. Gotta be careful of that fact. There's a reaper in the water down there, by the way. Oh, it's mad. I think it's got my scent. But there's nothing it can do, because I'm up here. But it's down there in that water right there, right there. Okay, um... I think these crabs have been nipping me quite enough. Uh, I'm gonna head back. Oh, it is always an experience doing that, let me tell you. It's fucking nerve-wracking, the first times. But... Though that was successful, right? 
We still have to get back alive. And there is a reaper out there. You heard it. I heard it. Are you ready? Can we escape? Fucking hell. Fucking hell. I hate this part. Don't do it, don't get me. Don't get me. Are we good? It's a lot of like debris here. Way more than anywhere else, man. A lot of like crates I just went over but I'm not interested. It's a reef back there. Alright. Okay, the deeper we get into this biome, the, the kind of safer I feel in respect to the reapers. Okay. Alright, I think we're safe. Oh my god. Oh, it's always so horrifying, dude. It's always so fucking horrifying to do that shit. But we did it. We fucking did it. And we've got the, the upgrade station. Now, the upgrade to uh, power. So it won't consume as much power as we move it. Meaning, we can actually start taking this uh, Cyclops out on missions. Which is going to be awesome. We did actually get two power cells to restore some power if we need it. Sort of prepped for that. Let's go to the engine room. And upgrade the shit out of this motherfucker. But, again, there is another one. Another upgrade that we can do. And I don't remember how to make them. So, do let me know if you know. Power efficiency upgrade. 400% now more efficient. Awesome. No longer consuming as much power. Very good news. Alright. Oh, we did it. Okay, one final thing to do, I think. Put it in a nice spot. And get ourselves a nice screenshot. There it is. F11. That's true blue. Welcome back. It's good to have you again. Alright. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Bit of a nerve-wracking one today. I still want to go explore that um, cave thing that we found. And we have the... Um, new tool to make the uh, terraformer and we've got to make the new base just didn't have time this episode so now we've got our, everything sort of set up to upgrade and change the base make it look way cooler we've got all the materials we kind of need to do it and of course um, we're also going to be exploring that that cave next time thanks so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it guys and I will see you next time for more Subnautica